Welcome to my YouTube channel on freelance and business. My name is Jeptyon Motai. In this video, I'll take you through some of the newest requirements when submitting a duly filled tender documents or request for quotations via the government IFMIS portal. If you are finding videos on my channel good, like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Looking for professional video production services? Request a quote on www.detectivestudio.com. Now, let's get right into today's video. If you own a videography and photography services company in Kenya, then on a regular basis, you fill and submit tender and pre-qualification documents, hoping that one of them will go through. Owing to several applications received by the tendering companies every day, new requirements are added in to beef up security and eliminate the many applications. While some of the requirements are good for the tendering companies, it's bad news for small businesses as some of the requirements are paid. Here are three latest shocking ones. Number one, signed and certified documents by the commissioner of odds with the current date of the tender advertisement here is one example of a tender document for provision of production of video documentary that had this requirement mandatory it was a turn off for me it will cost you a thousand shillings to have your company documents stamped by a commissioner of odds Secondly, the whole procedure of getting the documents stamped will not be done online. Young entrepreneurs in the videography and photography category are very creative and can mobilize resources to produce a quality documentary. However, they'll be locked out because they cannot afford to pay a commissioner of odds. Procuring entities should have a leeway for youths and people with disabilities when it comes to some of the mandatory requirements. This is because none is assured of getting the tender even after paying the price to get the tender documents stamped and signed. Number two is provide evidence of staple internet bandwidth. With good fiber optic infrastructure in place across Kenya, anyone can get high-speed internet installed and connected to them in the shortest time possible. Requiring a supplier to provide evidence of stable internet connection should not be mandatory even if at the time of submitting the tender the tenderer is using low speed internet they can quickly upgrade if they are awarded the tender. In my opinion this is unnecessary unless the tendering company is focused on hiring a very established supplier. Number three is provide evidence of insurance cover. This includes indemnity against risk or workman injuries benefit cover, WIPA. Insurance is good, especially in the workplace. But imagine this scenario. An entrepreneur has taken an insurance cover for a whole year and never got any tender awarded to them. Do you think he or she will renew it again? Hell no. I'm referring here to the less established businesses. They'll first look for contracts. And once they have an ongoing contract in place, they'll then consider paying for an insurance cover. Practically, this requirement should come after one has been awarded the contract. Simple. This way, the tenderer will have no excuse when it comes to insurance cover. And that is it from me here. What is that one tender document that has lately shocked you and made you discouraged to apply? Let me know in the comments section below. If you have any questions or comments regarding to this video, let me know by sending me an email to connect at jeptioni.com. You can follow me on Twitter at Cheptioni. Until next time, bye-bye and take care. Looking for professional video production services? Request a quote on www.detectivestudio.com.